So, Shannon, did Baker prove last night that he is not a bust? No, he didn't. Um, Skip, he needs a lot of things around him to play well. In college, he was the best player on the field. And if you look at it, Skip, he had C.D. Lamb. He had Hollywood Brown. He had, If I'm not mistaken, he had Joe Mixon for one year. Wasn't, wasn't Mixon there for a year? First year he started, maybe. Yeah, yep. I think I think so. Yep. So, Skip, we, we see what he had around him. Mm-hmm. But I mean, last he played, he started for three years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Skip, what it showed me last night, and I think a lot of people have always believed this, the uh, Browns offense should run through the running game. Let it go through Chubb. Let it go through Kareem Hunt. And you see what happens after that. And then you can play action, and you get Odell wide open for a touchdown. Mm. He was clean last night, Skip. Mm. No sacks, no hits, no takedowns. Mm. And they ran the ball for 215 yards on 35 carries. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to give me that kind of production out of the run game and the ability to play action off of that, Skip, Mm -hmm. yes, he can be successful. Mm -hmm. But watching him last night, he, I didn't see anything special. I didn't see anything that flashed. You know, you watch Kyler Murray and you watch Kyler Murray Sunday, you say, oh, mm. we had Kyler Murray special. Oh, so you've come around on Kyler Murray. Wait, wait, you just called him special. Yes. You've been down on Kyler Murray. I was down on yeah. Kyler. Oh. And it's okay. Guess what? Oh. It's okay. If I'm wrong on something, oh. I'm not going to go out here and just, oh, I didn't oh. say it. No, dude, I didn't say it. Huh. But we're not talking about Kyler Murray. We're talking about Baker Mayfield, yes. who you believe was going to be special. Yep. And I have not seen it yet. Skip, it's early. It's only his third year. But I don't see, I don't see, Skip, mm. I don't see that brashness. Mm. I don't see the, the the whirling and you know how he used to do in college. He run down the field and he doing the helicopter all the way down the field. I don't see that. Mm. I see a guy that if things go really well, the running game, I can run the football, then I can play action off of it. Mm. Yes, I can have success. But he threw, as uh, um, Alex mentioned, he threw a horrible interception, Skip. You can't make that play. There's nothing, if you run a play action and there's nothing to hold the backside safety, Skip, he's supposed to sink and take the crossing right away. So what did the guy do? He sunk and Baker never saw him. I'm like, Baker, you know he was there, you know. That's what you're taught. That's like, okay, that's that's not high school, but that's college football there. Mm. So, Skip, what, what, look, I thought he played well last night, but I'm not here to say, oh, yeah, Baker's turned the cor- corner. Mm. No, I don't I don't believe he's turned the corner. If you're going to run the football with Hunt, you're going to run the football with Nick Chubb like they ran it like that, mm. I'll be there. They'll have success. But looking at the AFC North, they're the third best team in the AFC North. Mm. You know that. I know that. Okay. So, a quick Undisputed History lesson featuring my partner, Shannon Sharp. Uh, Let's see. I said before the Baker Mayfield draft, he should go number one. Somebody across the table said, what? You're kidding me. Number one, I believe you like Sam Darnold. I did. Yes. I did. Uh, I said he should go one, and he did go one, and it was a bit of a shocker to everybody. Mm -hmm. First year, he doesn't get to play. We go through hard knocks, and, and uh, Hugh Jackson is saying, uh, Baker, congratulations, calls him in, says, you just won the backup job. And I was outraged and offended. So Tyrod Taylor starts the first few games, and then he gets hurt, and Baker gets his shot on that. Wasn't it a Thursday night against the Jets? And here he came, and there he goes. And he had a sensational close to his rookie year, and he went 7-7 seven and seven against a pretty difficult schedule. Mm-hmm. And guess who came around? My partner came around. Yes. And last year early on, especially after Baker Mayfield went to Baltimore mm-hmm. and won 40-25 to 25 and threw for 340 yards, he looked pretty special that right. day. Uh, my partner was saying, Shake and bake. You started so, driving my bandwagon. Actually, you, you tried to co-opt it. Actually, Skip, I picked them to win the division uh-huh. before. Okay, and obviously they had added a bunch of big right. hot they, oh, pieces. Yes, there. yeah. Okay, so then this year, you know, obviously he fell off the cliff at the end of the year last mm-hmm. year. So now you're down on him, and you're you're sort of edging toward he's a bust. Yesterday you were still like pretty shaky. No, I'm not. No, I'm not saying he's a bust, Skip. But this notion, because he's the first pick, he's going to turn out to be John Elway. Okay, he's the first pick in the draft. He's going to turn out to be one of these franchise altering quarterbacks. Do I see that at this very moment? I do okay. not. I don't know if I'm going to go to franchise altering, but he is a franchise quarterback. No, 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 Skip, to do the first pick in the draft. Okay, I got it. Well, he will live up to being the first pick in the draft. And I told you yesterday, I'm not giving up. I don't see anything wrong yet. 
I think he's going to be just fine. And I thought Baker Mayfield came out last night with the old chip back on his shoulder. And he said basically to the Shannon Sharps and maybe to the Colin Cowards of the world, watch this. And Kevin Stefanski, his new coach, and I'm going to remind everybody, he's now in He's barely into his third season. He's had four head coaches. Why is that? Uh, four head coaches. Why is that? Yeah. <laughs> and he's had three new play callers, three offensive coordinators. How hard is that on a still very young quarterback? Help me out. Not that easy, right? That's what happens, Skip. When Continuity. You don't play. Skip, when you don't play well, you get those guys fired. Okay, but he did play well as a rookie, and it's still all hell broke loose. And then Freddie K, as you call him, Freddie Kitchens <laughs> got <laughs> elevated, <laughs> which was a, a terrible move. And it was a bad franchise getting worse. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. Right. Sometimes you get stuck when you're the number one overall. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong franchise. Yes. They had the number one pick for a reason Mm -hmm. because they were the worst team in the NFL. So the point is that last night you got to see Baker back to being Baker. He took the game over for the first few minutes of the game because I saw a different game. I got to get a new TV. The Hall of Famer tells me that that it was run, run, run. And I saw a different game. Maybe I got to get new LASIK surgery. I don't know. Here's what I saw to open the game. Uh, let's see, the first two plays of the game run by the Browns. Obviously, Joe Burrow had the ball first, but when they got the ball, the first two plays were what? Chub, chub? No. Uh Uh-uh. Baker, Baker. They want throw, throw. Three of the first four plays of this football game were Baker Mayfield passes. Wow. And he was operating, and Kevin Stefanski finally pulled his head out of his behind and said, you know, He's pretty athletic. He likes to throw on the run. Let's get him outside the pocket, right. which he did a whole lot at the University of Oklahoma when I watched every snap he took for his three years there. He likes to move and groove. He likes to get in rhythm. He likes to create momentum with his legs as well as his arm. I'm not saying he's a pure running quarterback. He's no Cam Newton, but he can run some, and he can obviously escape to throw. Okay. And he enjoys throwing it on the run where he can create splashy sort of plays that excite the whole offense. And that's what happened early in that game. He threw some exciting rollout passes Mm -hmm. to his right and to his left. He throws it really well going to his left. So how did he get out there? Okay. What do you mean, how did he get out there? How did he get out there? Play fate. Well, play action. Okay, but but he's rolling out. Mm-hmm. Some of I don't think a couple of them were rollouts. That's like, that's like, oh, got no, I think they were just pure bootleg action where he just rolled out. <laughs> but the point is, they actually last night threw it to run it. They threw it to run it. And and again, the the play of the game, the throw of the game came to who's that number thirteen? I forgot about him. I, I forget his name. The, that guy for you know he's got that yeah. that kind of blondish hair. You oh, know that guy. I could afford to fake yeah. that, fake that okay. ball right there though. So he's sure. yep he's rolling to his left, a harder throw, rolling to his left, and zing! He throws a rifle shot and hits number thirteen. Oh, Odell Beckham. I remember his name now. Right. Hit him right on the oh. numbers. Is that not a good throw? That's a great. Throw. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. And that basically ignited Cleveland and and sparked what happened thereafter. Yeah, really. Yep. I, I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correct. Yep. You got on pom poms mm-hmm. because Baker beat the Bengals. Yeah. You know what? I'm glad you brought that up. The Bengals are better than you think they are. No, they're are. not. Yes, they are. How many games? The, the, Over the, under six games. Okay. The Bengals first week. Rookie quarterback thrown into the fire for the worst team in the National Football League. What happened against the Chargers? A loss. Chargers have a pretty good defense, I would have to say. Pretty good. They Mm -hmm. lost Derwin James, but they're still pretty good. They got a lot of players on that defense. And would you believe that Joe Burrow led 13-6 to going to the fourth quarter? Would you believe he drove his team at the end of the game over the last three minutes? He drove them 79 yards in 14 plays against that defense. Yes. And and threw a touchdown pass to A.J. Green that would have won the game, and A.J. got called for offensive pass interference. Right. So they wound up with a chip shot field goal, Mm -hmm. and that Randy Bullock, he gags wide right. He pulled his his groin to the hamstring. He pulled his groin. Yeah, that's what he said. But but again, that's to tie and go to overtime. Joe Burrow can play. Yeah, he looked good. He looked good. Mm-hmm. He, he's got poise. He's got a, sort of a weird charisma about him because he enjoys competing. Right. 
he has sneaky velocity and he has sneaky mobility because he can run a little bit. Yeah, he, he, he has uh, uh, above average athleticism he skills. He does. I don't know if you want him necessarily throwing the ball 61 times. Okay. That's I, asking I, I a bit I don't really much. get that because you brought up Joe Mixon. Yeah. He's pretty good. Yeah, he is. He, he's a top 10 running back. Yeah. And why you didn't feature him a little bit yes, more, I, agree. I, I don't know. But he didn't get enough carries, and all of a sudden they are just pass happy. Yeah, I think they fell behind, Skip. Okay. They could have kept the game close because remember they had the goal line and then they had an opportunity to get the ball in. Boy, dropped the touchdown. Yep. That could have kept them close. And so now you fall behind and you feel you need to throw, throw, throw to keep stay in the ball game or try to get back into the ball game. Yep. So what, what was the mistake of the game for Joe Burrow? Obviously, he's facing third and nine at his 12, yeah. and he tries to do too much and hold the ball a little, mm -hmm. like one count too long, right. and Miles Garrett gets him. Yep. Strip, sack. Yep. Browns recover at the one-yard line, and it's a gimme touchdown that, that felt like it had broken the game open mm -hmm. at 28 to 13. Right. Right? Yep. Okay. Then if, if we can go back a play, that was 6.02 left in the second quarter. If we go back, there was one other big mistake made by – the visiting team, and it is a rivalry. It's an Ohio rivalry mm -hmm. of Cincinnati versus Cleveland, but it was third and six at the Cincinnati 42, and Joe Burrow is trying to call a timeout, and they snap the ball, and it's a 22-yard loss, which forces them, obviously, to punt, and that led to Odell to – I mean, uh, Baker to Odell right. to break the game open. Mm -hmm. So the point is those two mistakes, if you eliminate those two – you, you got a ball game. Right. So so I think I have some respect for Cincinnati. I'm not yeah. saying they're going to compete to win the division. We, we've got a really low bar that with Baker beat Cincinnati on a Thursday night football game, a rookie, a very young team, a head coach in his first season of head coaching, and that's the bar that we're measuring Baker by now. But your Baker was a number one draft pick, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to throw – and I want you to say who is Baker's career going to remind, resemble? Mm -hmm. Elway, Luck, Cam – Peyton, Bradshaw, Aikman. Those are just right off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Which of those guys will Baker Mayfield? Because that is it. When you're the number one overall pick, you're supposed to be a trans you're supposed to be a generational talent. You're supposed to be franchise altering. Mm -hmm. You said he's not going to be that. I just need to know why when you touted him to go number one. What happens is you have to do your number ones in a vacuum. You have to say, will he be better than the other quarterbacks picked in his draft? Help me out. Will he be? Are you still stuck on your guy, oh, Sam Darnold? <laughs> well, if, if I, put, I, will, I will be stuck on Sam Darnold if they get that. Skip, I don't like to call for people to get fired. But Adam Gay, Skip, at some point in time, okay. the kid has regressed. Okay. You watch it. I watch it. Everybody's watching. He's regressed. He hasn't gotten better. He's gotten worse. Okay. So, obviously, Lamar goes in that draft, but yeah. he doesn't go until the end of the first right. round, right? Was he the... He's the 30-second pick. I remember I tra tra traded back to get okay. him. That traded was his last draft pick. The last right. pick in the first round. Correct. So, if you put him in the top mix, he obviously is now going to go one. Right. He will be better than Baker. Baker is a franchise quarterback. He's good. He's better than the other guys. He's obviously better. What than about Josh, Josh Allen? Josh Allen, I, I think Baker's going to be better. That's just me. Okay. He's a better operator. He's got more. He's got more charisma. He's got more leadership skill. And I respect Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen is good enough to win his division this year. Right. But Baker Mayfield has pizzazz. He's got some it factor. And when he's playing with the chip on his shoulder, leadership skills. And as he said after the game, I, I heard some new humility from Baker Mayfield. Uh -huh. I did because he's been humble. Because this league will chew you up and spit you right but, out. But did you see those 15 commercials that he had last? It started up again, and I told you, I don't love it. I don't love anything about it. But, and, and, again, they're good commercials. I got no issue with the, you know, it's progressive and Hulu has live sports. I got all that. <laughs> but it's not good because you just keep creating the target bigger and bigger on your back. Skip, let me ask you a question. I mean, look at this. Okay. Baker had a 98 QBR last night. Yeah, with and by the way, that's a QBR. I got an issue. With. Okay, okay. I'm just because yeah. I was. Just I, I don't get it because, <laughs> to your point, he did throw one early fourth quarter yes. interception, and I don't understand what happened on maybe whoever's uh, you know analyzing right. going through it because if you look, it, it was disturbing, but but yet William Jackson the third is is actually the corner on yes. that side. Yes, it's not a safety drop. Correct. So it's That's not correct. Some yes, you know, just cut and dried cover two right. drop. Right. It, it, somehow. He has dropped all yes, the way, he, 
And Baker is trying to get the ball to the rookie tight end, right. Harrison Bryant, who won the Mackey Award yep. out of Florida Atlantic. Yep. Remember, he was kind of unsung, mm -hmm. ran 4-7, went in the fourth round. But a lot of people liked him a lot right. because he's an athlete. He is. And so Baker is trying to get him the ball on a deeper a deep post. Mm -hmm. or, is mm -hmm. it cross or post? Yeah. I don't, it's, it's, what, well, he's, what, they, what they're doing is they're trying to cross, they're cry, trying to cross the safety space. Yep. Okay. And I don't know if he – if did the corner completely fool him? It's a backside yes. corner. But, Skip, here's the thing. When you run the play fake to the corner yep. and the the, uh, the play, the action that side, he doesn't see a receiver go down the field. So his job is to just get guess, depth. And he to got, take the crossing route, to take that away. You want to talk about depth. He got depth yes. all the way back to the goal line. <laughs> yes. But there's nothing to hold him, Skip. So if there was something okay. to hold him, he wouldn't have got that kind of depth. But since there's nothing to hold him, he just keeps sinking, and, keeps sinking. And I remind everybody that in 2016, that kid was the 24th overall pick out of Houston. So he's a first-round pick. Yes. So he's a good player that yes. you don't know much about. Correct. But he just snatched it out of nowhere, poo, and it was disturbing. And so I don't get – usually when you throw one interception, yeah. you're going to drop below 90. Right. And considering, Skip – uh, Lamar Jackson missed five throws, had three touchdowns, mm -hmm. and he, he had some good runs. Russ missed four throws, had four touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Mahomes, we know what he did. Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. and Baker Mayfield, QBR was higher than all of those. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't, that, and see, that's what com confuses me mm -hmm. about QBR because if you watch that game last night, Skip, nobody thinks Baker Mayfield outplayed Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, or Lamar Jackson in their games on Sunday. Nobody thought, well, um, my homeboy played on Thursday. Mm -hmm. But nobody thinks Baker played better than those guys killed. No, I would agree. You got me on that Okay. One. But I still like how Baker handled himself during and after the game. Right. He had quotes about, I have lots of weapons. My job is to get the ball in their hands. Right. And for once, he got enough balls in Odell's hands. Right. Odell was happy after the game. Right. Winning. We'll, we'll, we'll sort of it'll do that. deodorize the locker room, yes. right? Yes, But the point is that Baker didn't back off when, if we could see what happened right after the game on NFL Network, our man Michael Irvin asked, gave him the platform, do you want to fire back at your critics who said you're, you're no good or you're right. a bust? Okay, that's the guy who played at Oklahoma. Right. That was the two-time walk-on at Texas Tech and at Oklahoma mm -hmm. who won the Heisman Trophy and lifted his team into the playoffs. Well, Skip, twice. I would have been very disappointed if he'd have took that opportunity to fire back, considering that he didn't take that opportunity to say anything after game one. So why after one other another game you would take that opportunity? Let it play out, Skip. Look, okay, I, but at I, least he didn't say you're you're all crazy <laughs> and wrong. He just said in the Mayfield household, we don't forget. But Skip, you must admit, we have more bad tape on Baker yeah. than good tape. So far. Oh, I, I exactly, that, and that's, yeah. all, that's all I'm saying, Skip. And all I'm saying is you better not write him off. No. Because no. if he gets the right mindset with chip on shoulder, he can play. Skip, the thing is about those guys, uh, there are 1,600 players, probably 1,400 got, got chips on his shoulder. 1,400 of them people say you're not going to be anything. You're not going to be that guy. Yeah, you're good in high school, but wait till you get to college. And the guys in college are going to be a lot better than you. And the guys in, and people in college say, wait till you get to the NFL, because all those guys are good up there. So everybody has a chip. Everybody has been counted out at some point in time. Even Peyton Manning, because they say, oh, Peyton, you're done. The doctor gave him a 10% chance of ever playing against Skip. And when Elway so throwed him, he couldn't throw the ball basically from me to you. But the indie doctors gave him no, no chance. Of zero again. chance. Yes. Zero. Okay. So and by the way, the guy I'm talking to right now was a seventh round. Seventh, draft 192. Coach. So you went to a training camp. I don't know how many free agents they had in there. But well, that was the first year skip they had to limit it. Oh. In 1990 was the first year you could only bring 80 guys to camp. Okay. But there were a lot of there I was, went to a lot of cowboy camps where there were like 100 20, free agents. Yeah, you could break it and, and and the camps back then, Skip, mm -hmm. were six weeks. Yep. Eight weeks. Okay. Guys use that to get into shape. Now you have to come into shape. And so, Skip, at, at the end of the day, everybody believes they're counting out. I, I, look, they gave me the jersey number one. They didn't give me no good number because they were just going to take that number and throw it back in there and give it to somebody else the following year. Number one? So they gave me number one, Skip. Why? Because all the 80s. There, everything was gone. All the 80s were gone. Because, okay. you know, we had three tight ends in camp. They already had 80. They had the Amigos who had all – Michael Young, they had all the 80s. And two other receivers. Yeah, that were uh, that were there had uh, that were veteran players had number eight had eighty numbers. So for me, Skip, hey, I, just give me a number and some pads. Let me tell me where to go. Huh. I'll do the rest.
Did you tell him you might want to play quarterback? No, 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 no. I was just happy to have a number. Mm. But I had already ha always had single-digit numbers. So I thought it was cool. All right. I was like, well, you know, hey, I might be number one. Well, nah. Well, you think you're number one. <laughs> you know, I was, right? I was like, I'm number one. I was like, I might be pretty cool yep. here. So, final thought. Joe Burrow is going to be a star, and he will be better than your man, Tua. Oh, Tua coming. To no. Nope. Oh, oh, Tua coming. Joe Burrow is showing you what he's made of. Well, you're going to see Tua shortly. Yeah. Well, I... Let's hope so. Oh, hey, no, if, he, if, he's, if he's that good. Oh, he that good. Why wouldn't you just play he, he him? He that good. Yeah. He that good. Mm. Did Brady play right away? Marino didn't start out the box. Mm. Montana didn't start out the box. Mm. Elway didn't start out the box. How'd they turn out? Peyton started out of the box. How'd he turn out? But you know what? And Peyton Manning was the worst thing to ever happen because everybody think they got Peyton Manning and just going to turn the key. Hey, son, you know how to drive here. Mm. Throw him a set of keys and let him go. Skip, mm. everybody can't be Peyton. Mm. Joe Burrow looks pretty good to me. Oh, he does. He, I mean, he looks good. He is handling the expectations. Yes. Yes. And that was an entertaining game last night, and that's all you can ask for. And I got to say, I'm happy for Baker Mayfield. Big fan, Skip. I agree with you. Much respect for his response in that post-game <laughs> interview. It was fun. You can see he's that growing up. That could have been somebody like else I know. Up. Somebody else I know ain't humble. Would have took a chance. Would have took his opportunity to respond. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.